Welcome to Nuni TV. PvP New Games Rise Contender should so be worried. For years, hate it or love it, there's been many critics of the whole PvP status and future of SO PvP. Many PvPers players waiting for changes in the game, new arenas, zones, rewards, etc. From even fixing the game black spikes in a 10 year old server. We all have our opinions, but here are what most of us can agree on. It's been years, there's been a new PvP short, a new PvP zone where many PvPers and consider themselves end gamers are waiting but sad reality there's no end game for pvp and because they haven't made any new content in pvp now yes this patch a few days ago they finally made some new zones for battlegrounds casuals maybe promising more rewards etc but can we call it a temporary fix or simply casual activity that eventually will fade like any other pvp in so fade to the same lack of motivation in pvp and get stalemate which makes you want to play another game like Mario Luigi or Barbie Girls Playhouse. And this is even when the new contenders come right in. Just days ago, we had a free beta for New World, and in October comes out Liberty, both hardcore PvP and MMO games. I love PvP in ESO, and no matter how many issues the game has, I try to enjoy it. But then again, playing for many years, I learned how to play, how to micromanage, play bits and pieces of it, because that's what you can really do in ESO, PvP. This year, either ESO will need to step their game up or there will be no competition for them. There's been no competition for them for many years on consoles, especially Xbox. But now that there is, will people who are ready, tired of broken promises, or not even promises, but broken fixes or lack of PvP content? Or hey, have you ever heard of that number one PvP -er? In the ESO world named Maldog? Hmm, why hasn't he been around? Has he retired? Or maybe just maybe like hundreds of other PvPers in ESO coming soon to another PvP MMO to make history, Thrones of Liberty, or maybe New World? Which one will be conquered by ESO PvPers? Or which one will be dethroned? Or dethroning ESO in PvP? Or will ESO even survive at all like it's done for many years? Highly unlikely. I think ESO days are getting on number, and only the casuals have kept ESO alive for so long. Now with the typical boring added on you, hey Bob, pick me up some Apple quests before other animals mark their new territory. I hope I'm truly wrong, but if I'm not, then you all, we all know this was coming. Only I wish it hadn't. Sorry ESO, step up your game. Everyone stay tuned, let's see what happens. Thank <laughs> you.